Hey guys, Brito here, welcome back to Out of Awe, here we are for episode number 7, I think we're up to. Um, now, as of right now, episode number 2 was just released today, 1 and 2 are going absolutely nuts. You guys are absolutely loving the content, and I'm really glad that you guys are, because I'm loving playing the game. As I said, number 2's dropped today, um, just under 5 hours ago, I'm already up to number 7, I'm just recording episode after episode after episode, because I, I can't stop playing the game, I love it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the mix of time lapse and um, live play. You guys let me know what your favourite is, what you prefer. Um, as you can see, we've still got this wash plant set up where we're dumping everything over there with the truck, which just works really well. Eventually, once we get like our final sort of um, wash plant set up, what I would like to do is have like our wash plant here, like on this big spot here. And have big massive silos so our our big eventually our big um these guys trucks or even just the smaller ones maybe what 345 220 tons so maybe these guys can park underneath the silo while we're dumping a big haul truck in and one will be getting um, like the pay dirt gold rubies blah 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 the next one will be getting coal lithium all that good stuff and maybe the third one will be getting dirt so we can use the dirt for you know, windrows and that sort of stuff, which that's what I want to put in along here. It's going to take a lot of work, so don't know how we're going to go with it, but that's sort of the plan to have a final huge um, yeah, wash plant set up with three huge silos, all with trucks picking up different things. Long term goals, long, long time away, but you guys let me know what you think of that idea. Um, pretty much what we do in real life, obviously I work in a coal mine so the dirt just gets dumped over a tip head and we continue to fill in what we've already dug out but then we have coal getting tipped into the bin like this and then a reject coal comes out, we call it reject or chitter so that's coal that hasn't met the standard or it may even be um, a bit of rock that's got dumped in the bin with the coal because obviously we've got partings in between the coal bands and that sort of stuff so just comes back out as reject coal and that we if we're lucky enough we end up being on the reject truck and we get to um, send that coal back out or the reject back out to the pit and it gets loaded the similar way this is we pull underneath we hit the button on the truck it loads us up and um, we go out and tip it whether we use it for windrows we use do use reject for windrows obviously we use dirt first to make it a bit more competent but then we use reject after that just to sort of dress it up a bit but fortunately we don't have reject in um, this form of the game just yet so we're just going to have to go with just pure dirt which is fine alright so let's just keep on digging through here um, the coal's still down over there I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that whether we're going to keep going with the loader or we're going to set up another little wash plant similar setup to what we've got here or not I think we're going to need bigger trucks when we try and tackle that a bit more I think I'd rather hit it with the next level truck like the top the biggest the biggest smallest truck I should say or you know the smallest wobbly truck we've got the biggest wobbly truck we've got so it can take a bit more of a payload than this other little one, of course, but we're level 10, I think that is a level 16 unlock, maybe. But yeah, we're just going to keep tackling this spot. I need to buy the roller. We are debt free now, um, as you guys would have seen at the end of our last time lapse. Our debt is completely paid back to the company, so they will no longer get their dues. We will be everything pure profit from here on out one other thing I want to do now is we can take out more money out of the bank if we need to but one thing I want to do is now we've got this equipment from here on out we are not allowed to sell any more equipment so even in 20 episodes time when we've got the biggest trucks or the biggest loaders these guys will still be here on site somewhere um, even if we just have like a little museum somewhere I don't know, but yeah, I don't, I don't want to sell any vehicles, we want to try and keep everything, we obviously we started with the smaller stuff, we're working our way up, but yeah, I don't want to sell any more equipment, we're going to leave it, there may be a time, you know, later on when the bigger 
mining equipment's too big for a certain spot or too big for something I want to do so yeah no more selling equipment everything we have now we are keeping so our target now is to get I think it's 175 or 180,000 to get the roller that's our next our next bit of equipment that we want to get just so we can use it in through here want to try and stop using that hand tool Yeah, I really hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Um, at the moment, there's not a lot of content that's been brought out by Kerbo yet, um, so I haven't even been able to check out his stuff. I haven't really checked out anybody else, to be honest. Um, I've been watching Split with his live streams and that sort of stuff. He's over in that coal off to the right there, and I think most people would probably be over there because you know it's going to be a pretty decent payday, but I think what we're getting out of here, this stuff is like, twice as good as far as money goes compared to the coal the coal's only about 45 bucks per I don't know if it's per ton or per one unit whatever a unit may be whether it's a kilo or a ton yeah this spot here is just it's too lucrative to walk away from so much money in it Especially if it goes up that upper bench, which I'm pretty sure it will. Yeah, there's so much money in it up there. There may be a time where we're going to have to dig this back to that upper bench. And we may need to move the hopper down in here and load it from up top. Like, just dump it off the side. like Sort of like bulk pushing with the, with the dozer, but using the loader itself. Although I would love to buy a dozer and be able to bulk push it down. That would be pretty cool. I did start doing that at the end of our Arctic series, but it wasn't as successful as I sort of hoped it would have been. But there, now we've got way bigger dozers. I think it'll be better. I believe there was... Oh, actually, I'm not sure if there was bigger dozers released in the, the current patch the current update I thought they looked like they were a bit bigger but I'd have to confirm that with, um, with Christian or Nick whether we did actually get some bigger dozers I would like to see some bigger dozers getting them to D11s and um, making them as powerful as they were before big bog pushing dirt machines so we've got a bit of a storm coming through it. The sound's definitely improved a lot. Um, I'm not sure on Thunderstorm. Let's have a look. Let's see how we go with the Thunderstorm. I don't know if you guys can hear it overly well, but yeah, that's, that's way better. It did do a lot of work with the weather, because we were having a lot of issues, like sound issues. But that is cool. Rain, hail, or shine, we're not stopping for nobody. Um, so we need to check that truck, it's probably overloaded. And it is. Getting sidetracked talking about random stuff, and we've got stuff all over the ground everywhere. Right, let's get our lights on. I was just getting excited about it's purely loading. Right, let's go back to automatic. Right, so I think I've got the amounts written down of what well here comes the bloody storm again of what we dumped I think the best tip that we got in our previous uh, time lapse was 90,000 out of one tip so see how this goes still lagging no update since the big update so I'm hoping they're working on that in the background somewhere so that was 40 to 123 so that's what, 80, 85,000, 80 odd thousand? It's a pretty good bloody tip that is. Obviously we still need that that roll to come through here. Level all this out. The reason why I'm reversing instead of driving is because we lose less rocks I believe if we reverse. I'm gonna have to flatten this out. Just remove it and flatten it back out again. Be good if we had um, 
I said we got the big, the way I want to design the big chutes above, or the big silos would be good, but it'd be good if we had an on off switch for this dirt here. Another thing I would love to see, I would honestly think would be pretty cool, now we've got a leveling system. Allow us to level up these guys, level up this, so this is tier 1 stuff, maybe at level 25 we can get tier 2 conveyors, tier 2 sorters, trommels, so not only is it faster to process, but it, you get more order out of it, and then maybe like a tier 3 as well, I think that would be, that would be a pretty cool addition to the game, similar to um, Satisfactory, where you can have the, the belts mark 1, mark 2, mark 3 belts. I think that'll be awesome. Alright, so we'll get this truck filled up again, then we're going to need to get the roller out. As soon as we get above... Ah, the money we need, which shouldn't be far away. So I think we're going to need to... push from down... down oh, push from above down to get that other seam that's up there. So I think it's, we should be doing about five buckets, I think, and then going to check and check in the truck. I'm still loving the way that the the bucket's wearing. You can see the actual loader getting dirty. It's very, very small detail, but it's something that I love. I, I love the small, finer details. It does make a massive, massive difference for me. Right, so bucket number three, I think. I always lose count. That's why I just try and tab through and have a look. The only problem with this, with that, is this bit where you got to take a while to load back into the vehicle. Not sure why that's in the game. I think it's got something to do with just changing to and from vehicles too quick. Um, I think Nick did explain it in one of his live streams, but I didn't quite catch exactly what he was meaning by it, but Christian's got it implemented for a reason. So obviously not only are we selling this ore straight into the um, cell point, we're also getting the wash plant side of things, so we're still getting gold and rubies and diamonds and whatever we're finding in this pay dirt. I'm not sure if that's just a, a random percentage chance of what it's going to turn into, or if there's like hot spots, pay dirt hot spots on the map, which I think would be another cool addition, you know, because we're just digging pay dirt and throwing it straight in. Maybe like the pay dirt to a right here, maybe if it had like a little gold tinge to it, or a little ruby red tinge or something, you'd know, well, that's a that's a ruby hot spot right there, or that's a gold hot spot, or something like that. I think that would be a pretty cool addition as well. We're not filling up that quick, really. Right, let's go for another bucket. Yeah, I think we're getting a lot more pay dirt now than we are. We were actually getting. Than what we're getting um, actual ore out of the face here, but. That's fine, we'll get back into it eventually. I think. Obviously because we're digging so much and the voxels are falling back down, we're turning a lot of it into, covering a lot of the ore with pay dirt, so we're getting a good mix of both now. I guess that's probably the best part about that coal seam over there, knowing that you can get pure coal straight out of it, you don't even have to get any pay dirt or dirt if you don't want to, you can just stick straight to the coal seam and not worry about trying to widen it out too much, but I want to sort of widen it a bit more. I think I need to come back to the start. Widen it another three blocks, so another six metres wide. So that way we can actually load the truck down in there, maybe. Or in saying that, we can put a hopper down in there and we can load it the same way we're loading now. We can just put it, had it, had it, have it come straight out using conveyor belts and dump it straight into the back of the truck. That would be ideal. Like I'd love to get in right now and um, also build an awesome wash plant, but it's so expensive. I think I spent a million dollars on our Arctic Series wash plant. 
So we don't really have that sort of money right now. This is sort of weird too, where it's not getting right under. Like it's loading to one side, not centralising. Bit of a bummer. All right, let's move over a bit. I have to move over very far, but All right, there we go. I think a couple more buckets and we should be full. So we're definitely, either that seems lifting up a little bit, or we're just bringing a whole heap of bloody pay dirt back into the, into the face. So the plan was to try and ramp up a little bit, but don't know how that's going to go. We may be out of decent dirt here in a minute. So I think that bench above has got a decent amount of dirt up there. We'd have to maybe even just extend this and take it up there. We still load up there and then Actually, let's have a look. How much room do we have? Yeah, we haven't got too much room left, so that's our option now is to extend extend what we're doing here. Like, stop where we are now, drive around, get up on that next bench level, and load into a hopper. That's probably not a bad idea. That way we're not ruining all the bench heights. Right, how's that going? Yeah, we'll take it over after this load. So let's go for a drive up and around and see if we can't get up there. So I think that's another coal spot there, which we looked at before. There's another vein over there as well. Also, we're going to have to be careful coming up through here, not trying to roll this bloody thing. Um, trying to work out which way to go. We need to get up where that tree is over there. So they've got to go around this one, unless we just knock it out of the way. Yeah, get rid of it. Get out of the way. Yeah, this this bench here. You can see above there. There's more, more in there. Can we? Uh, I don't want to dig a hole. I'm just trying to get ourselves up and over. Right. Yeah. So just up above there, there's more of a seam. So if we can use this height and not fall off that edge. sort of load in this way and even dump in there if we can get that hopper set up in there somehow. Alright, let's go and get this guy dropped off. Not quite full, but still a decent amount. Start working on that upper bench. Which means the roller may not come today. We're going to have to spend 50,000, 100,000 on extending this setup over here. Alright, so 123. 173, so 50, 52,000. Not bad. Right, so I've got lights on the back as well, and lights on the front. With this thing. Um, yeah, we're going to need to extend this. I think we should. Should be able to get this to work out reasonably well. I'll still leave. I won't leave that hopper there, but I'm going to leave those bits there so we can put that hopper back if we need to. Right, let's jump out of this. I want to get rid of you and you and those guys. So we can be able to bring this up and I want to get it around it in there somehow so depending on how we go right let's get rid of these blocks out of here 
Uh, what do we got? We've got some corners. So let's go conveyor right, conveyor left, hopper up. Let's go and buy some straights. I think we'll grab five. So that's a lot of bloody money in it. Really is a lot of money. Right, so this way. We turn right here. No, left maybe. And we go left. Go right there. Where the, that's the hopper. There. If we go one more. So store. Buildings. Production. One more straight. And turn. And then throw our hopper in there. We could probably make that work. Right, we're going to need to throw these guys in. Get one in there, we can. And one there, good. Then we're going to need... We don't need that. That conveyor up can go back in. Don't need a trommel, don't need storage. We're going to have to try and dig that out. Jump into you, that way we can jump straight up into this guy. Yeah, we're going to need to put in uh, buildings. So let's go another six roof pieces. Three like that, and then we want one on that side. One there as well. And now this is going to be the, the test, can I? Somehow dig that out and push that down. That causing a massive issue. So I want to try and avoid using the bloody the tool if we can. Oh, back. Right, I think we're going to need to go from this side a little bit. And just take a little gouge off, not too much. Right, something like that, if we can... Get in. We might need to use the hand tool a little bit, but... Alright, let's park that up have a look. Can we... Yeah, let's just use this a little bit. I don't want to overuse it, but... For this, if we don't use it, we're going to sort of... Ruin it for ourselves. Alright, so we're going to need a couple more... Buildings. Let's go... Two more roof pieces. Uh, let's put one of these in each corner. Oh, something like that, and then smooth that out. Now, obviously, um, it's probably not ideal because it's going to be the wrong way, but should still be able to make it work. Right, so if we just dig straight into here, until we sort of open up the face a little bit, I guess, we're going to have to just tip it in this way. Hope that it all still goes in. Most of it will, and it'll eventually build up, and it'll all end up falling in anyway. So we don't have to worry about it too much, but... Oh, seems to be a lot of pay dirt here again. Yeah, this will this will definitely work. That way we can keep our, our bench heights the same. It's not far to travel either, so we're gonna 
build up some money really quick here, I think. It didn't cost us too much to extend it, which is good. Right, there's the there's the seam that we want. It's right there, and it wouldn't be far away. Right, keep an eye on that truck. It's going to take quite a while before we fill that thing up, I think, until we hit the proper seam, which seems like we're getting into a decent chunk of it now. Yeah, I think Christian could implement something so we could put designated haul roads in, like we use at work, like Winrose, obviously. Um, we could probably manually put them in using this guy, which I said would be something I want to look at, but it's going to take hours and hours to get it to look right. We could can just use a dozer as well to do it, but having placeable objects like delineation, so we use white poles, um, white poles with red, red reflective tape on them, so that allows us to know that that's this, obviously the side of the road. Um, and then we've got white poles with yellow reflective tape in them, on them, which we put in the middle of the roads to delineate um, like center islands, center berms and that sort of stuff. Because we use them on a lot of corners and obviously intersections we use them. But then 50 meters leading up to an intersection, we don't use red poles. Like white with red, we use white with blue. And the blue means that there's an intersection. So there's 50 metres out, we have one pole, then 25 metres out, and then 10 metres out, I think it is. So there's three poles leading up to an intersection. And then obviously we know that there's an intersection coming up, we need to slow down. Um, the speed limit through intersections for us is 30 k's an hour. Which is pretty, pretty good safe speed, I think. I mean, you don't want to be blown through an intersection doing 60 k's in a bloody haul truck. Knowing that, you know... One of your workmates may be driving through in a light vehicle from the other direction. You want to be taking care of each other, so going through it too quick, we're just not going to be able to slow down if something does happen to go wrong. Um, unfortunately, at our pit, we did have a fatality several years ago. Where unfortunately, a young a young lady pulled out in front of a truck in a light vehicle, and yeah, obviously she. She got run over. Um, a lot of factors went into that. It wasn't truck speed or anything like that. It's just, yeah, night shift. A lot of lights from other light sources, not just the truck. And she didn't see the truck. She just thought they were lights from something else. And unfortunately, yeah. Fortunately, she, she passed away and she's no longer with us. So it's always a reminder to slow down through intersections and take your bloody time and look out for each other. I know there'll be nothing worse for me if I... If I happen to make a mistake and you know one of my work colleagues was no longer with us not only with us but you know his family as well so it's it's not um not something that you want to muck around with and not follow rules and that sort of stuff it's very dangerous very scary environment so you've always got to be on the ball following procedures and all that sort of stuff looking out for each other Right, we definitely need this bloody roller. We're going to get it after this. This road here needs to be fixed. It's not really a road, but... It needs to be smoothed out. Right, drop there. Tip this off. Well, that's happening, let me jump out. So what if I... This looks going to look stupid, I know. What if I just set up, you know, a bit of a path? Heading this way, heading to there. So that way we know which way we're running. We should now be able to afford our compactor. 76580. Hell yeah. Spawn that bad boy. Jump in. No money left. Perfect timing for an auto save. 
Right, so we'll get this, get this road leveled out. This thing flies. I think it has worked on the speed of the vehicles too. Yeah, that, that thing, it goes... It's working though, isn't it? So it's going fairly bloody quick. I don't know if we should have an on-off button for this working or not, and have it slow down a bit. Just look at that, 40Ks in a roller. Not gonna happen in real life. Yeah, so if we bring this around, and then out this way. Have a look, so... Coming over here, if we just leave like a gap, like that. But this can be... I guess our delineated road for now. We know we've got to go this way. But that way we've only got a little bit of road to maintain, not too bad. There's nothing else that I can really think of that we could use for that. Um, now we've got these railings. Steel lights. Um, don't know if we can chuck them straight on the ground. Yeah, nothing. Nothing at all. It would be good to have some placeables, I think. Would be really ideal having some sort of placeable that we can use to delineate the roads. As I said, like a white pole. White poles with red, white with blue, white with yellow, that would be perfect for me. Um, I'm not sure about what obviously happens in other countries, other mines, but it'll be a similar sort of thing, whether it's a big white white pole. Like the pole's probably about a metre, a metre and a half high with the reflective tape on top. Maybe other countries, I think, they mightn't have it quite as, as tall. But it'll be similar sort of similar sort of setup anyway. Right, now we're getting into some good pay dirt with this. Depending what it is. Right, we need to just continue to try and open up in front of the hopper here a little bit. As well as target the good stuff. That way we've got a bit of room to move, for a bit of room to work. I think it's definitely going to be a good payday for us, this little spot. So I want to try and work out, I want to work out how high these faces actually are. If I dump that in and jump out for a second, if I go like this, one, two, is it four metres? I think it might be a little bit more than four metres, oops. Is that touching the ground? It is, so that's, say so two, four, it's about a four and a half metre face. So if we want to start making our own benches a similar size, we, need, we know we need to do two and a half blocks. Right, now our next, our next thing we're going to look at is a bigger loader, I think, bigger truck maybe. I think a bigger truck's probably more important than a bigger loader. If we look at the store, um, not Dozo, Dumper, level 18, 708,000, uh, the 500 or 501 we've already unlocked, and that gives us an 8 ton bucket compared to this guy which is a 6.5 ton I think. Yeah, 6.5 ton, the Chariton LW300. Yeah, so six and a half tons. So it's only a ton and a half. So I think the dumper will go from 20 tons up to 40 tons. So double, double the capacity, which I think us loading with the loader here at this pace is pretty good. I think the priority would be getting more pay dirt sent off into 
the actual um, sell point. I think that's sort of going to be going to be the aim. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the um, the roller up here easily enough or not. Look at all that. Look at all that glory up there. There's so much money once we get through it all. Uh, let's check this guy out. I'm going to need to roll forward a bit. This load time's too long, especially when I'm trying to get this loaded up, I think. Yeah, one more bucket. Might be pushing it with one more bucket, but. Right, let's see how we go with that. We're going to jump down and push all these things in. While we're up here, I'm just going to level it myself up here with this tool. I know I said I didn't want to, but there's no way we're going to be able to get that roller up here safely. Right, let's try and push all this stuff in if we can. Come on, rocks, let's go. Come on, there we go. Need to bust it up. Bust them up so they stop hanging out together. Right, that'll do. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty bloody full again. See, 40, t that's 20 tons apparently. The other truck's 40 tons, so it's bigger again. Why are you still processing? Right, so try and go reasonably steady with this. I did change the tyres on this thing too. I think it had loader tyres on it before. Now we've got um, all truck tyres on it maybe. Now, one thing I want from you guys is what colour do we go? Haven't changed any colours of any vehicles yet. So you had your choice in vehicle colour for this series. What would it be? Let's go parts, paint, so white, blue, green, yellow, red, pink, purple, midnight red, anything. I don't care what you guys say, just if you've got an idea for it, leave it in the comment section and um, we'll make it happen. Right, so we're nearly level 11, so close. So close yet so far. Right, our fuel is over there. We may need to move that. I was going to move it over here somewhere. Because I want it to look like one, we're servicing this building, but maybe we own it as well. I don't know. This guy's going to need fuel soon. How are we going to get down there with this thing? I don't know. So there's going to be a lower bench again. We're going to come through, and I said we're going to have to work up here. I want to go to the right height. Go one, two, four and a half. We're gonna have to dig with the excavator up here. This is like a shovel face, like that's gonna be a perfect shovel face. Obviously we're just nowhere near getting a shovel just yet. Still a long, long, long way away from getting a shovel, so but um right out guys. Well, we'll end the episode here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, as I said. Let me know what you think of the series, what colour you think we should go, and let me know what you think of the time-lapse episodes as well. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.